that the Great Depression is coming. The U.S. economy has experienced an unprecedented economic meltdown in the last two months. There is no doubt that the global economic crisis is finally here with us. Unlike the 2008 global financial crisis, the current economic crisis looks uglier because it has been triggered by a global health problem. Millions of people have already lost their jobs. This is the most intense layoff since the Great Depression. Economists are predicting that the $2 trillion stimulus package will not hold the economic fallout for long. At the same time, experts are warning that if this economic crisis is not addressed promptly, it will culminate in the biggest depression in history. The U.S. economy will soon slip to a deeper financial crisis. Here are some of the top economists that are predicting that the U.S. economy is headed to a depression. Number one, Alan Blinder. Alan is one of the top economists in the U.S. He once served as the Federal Reserve's vice chairman. He now works as a professor at Princeton. He's warned that the United States is already in a recession already begun in March. Generally, an economic recession is defined as two consecutive quarters of negative economic growth. However, there are sudden factors that can cause a recession, like a dramatic increase in unemployment rate. In recent weeks, the number of unemployed people in the United States has risen to 3.3 million as businesses suspend their operations. Allen has warned that this is the beginning of a historic economic fallout because things can only get worse from this point. Two, Maury Obsfeld. Maury is the former chief economist who worked with the International Monetary Fund, the IMF. He's warning that the US economy is headed to a depression. He's arguing that the economy is already in a recession. If this economic meltdown continues for the next two months, the U.S. will be officially in a depression. Business activities globally have come to a halt. Layoffs are surging to record highs. Maury is comparing this to the Great Depression. This level of business disruption has not been seen for many decades. This economic fallout can only be compared to the Great Depression. The U.S. is already going through unprecedented economic contraction and disruption of business operations as millions of Americans stay at home. Analysts are predicting that the United States economy is headed towards the worst quarter since the Great Depression. We have catastrophic economic numbers, and the numbers will only get worse if the economy will not open in the near future. 3. Noriel Rubini Rubini is warning that with the current health problem, which is spiraling out of control, the best economic outcome that we can hope for is an economic meltdown that will be deeper than the 2008 global financial crisis. The chances for even worst outcome are increasing every passing day as thousands of businesses suspend their operations all over. The shock to the global economy is more severe than what we had back in the 2008 economic meltdown. In recent weeks, the markets have been plummeting, credits are freezing up, this is being followed by massive bankruptcies as companies fail to cope with this economic crisis. Companies are going out of business. The annualized GDP is expected to contract with dire financial and microeconomic outcomes. At the beginning of this month, it took only 15 days for the stock market to plummet into bear territory. The stock market enters the bear territory when we have a 20% drop from the peak the recent decline is the fastest decline we have ever seen in the U.S. markets. At the moment, the stock market is down more than 30%. Credit spreads have already spiked to the 2008 levels, and Rubini's warning the worst is yet to come. 4. David A. Rosenberg David is a global strategist and the chief economist at Gluskin Chef & Associates. At one point, he also worked with Merrill Lynch as chief North American economist He's predicting that the damage to the U.S. and the global economy at large will be more than twice the damage that happened in the 2008 global financial meltdown. David is warning that the global GDP will contract by up to 5%, a decline never been seen since the Second World War. All over the world, restaurants, airline businesses have crashed by more than 50%. The decline in air is accelerating at a record rate as thousands of planes get grounded. Many other businesses are also suspending their operations. 
David is warning that the damage to the real economy has not been fully factored into the stock market. Even in the market is down by more than 30%, another wave of decline is coming, and the market will fall all the way to 50%. David's been saying that the economy is already in deep recession. If this gets out of control, we will be in a depression within a very short time. This economic meltdown will end up being many times bigger than the 2008 economic crisis, unless the health challenges are addressed properly and at this early stage. 5. Peter Schiff He's the chief global strategist and the CEO in the Euro-Pacific capital. He's predicting that a depression is inevitable. He disagrees with most of the experts who expects the US economy to only suffer during the first quarter of the year. Schiff is warning that the real GDP will decline by 25%. He's also expecting the consumer prices to skyrocket in the near future. He's warning that the coming economic meltdown will be greater than the Great Depression. According to Schiff, the U.S. economy is in big bubble that's already begun bursting. For many years, the U.S. economy has been debt dependent, and it's reached a point where this economic model cannot be sustained any longer. Despite the Federal Reserve's efforts to stimulate the U.S. economy, the markets have been tanking every day. The repo market is already in great trouble to the point where the Fed has to intervene. This shows how troubled the U.S. financial sector is. This is happening at a time when the U.S. economy is shrinking. Experts are warning the U.S. financial sector is at the verge of a collapse. The Federal Reserve has already initiated unlimited quantitative easing programs. Schiff is warning that the Fed can do this by unlimited printing of money. At the end of this day, this is undermining the value of the U.S. dollar. This action by the Fed will only worsen the already bad economic situation. This is the biggest shutdown of the American economy that's ever been seen before. This is an economic meltdown that didn't even happen during the Great Depression or even in the Second World War. This is a historic disruption in business activities all over the world that has totally affected the global economy. The U.S. economy is at the verge of a collapse because the 2008 global financial crisis is nothing compared to the recent economic fallout. At the moment, there is no light at the end of the tunnel because the economic fallout in the U.S. is getting worse every day. The future of the U.S. economy remains uncertain. This is the time when Trump's administration should gear up in their efforts to get things under control. There is still a need for more economic stimulus to ensure that American businesses and companies survive during this economic meltdown.